हित में दिया जा रहा है हम आपको बता दें तो ये जो प्रक्रिया है अब शुरू हो चुकी है भारतीय वायुसेना के ग्रुप कैप्टन और अंतरिक्ष यात्री शुभांशु शुक्ला 18 दिन बाद अंतर्राष्ट्रीय अंतरिक्ष स्टेशन से वापसी कर रहे हैं शुभांशु एक्सियम चार मिशन पूरा करने के बाद साथियों के साथ धरती पर लौटेंगे सीधी तस्वीरें हम दर्शकों को दिखा रहे हैं आपको बता दें कि एक्सियम चार मिशन पूरा करने के बाद शुभांशु शुक्ला मंगलवार को भारतीय समय अनुसार लगभग तीन बजे के बाद वो धरती पर लौटेंगे And as a reminder, just like during its approach to the International Space Station, Dragon's departure and deorbit is designed to be fully autonomous, requiring no action from the crew on board. However, unlike Dragon's arrival, there are no hold points during the departure sequence. Therefore, it takes a lot less time to leave the vicinity of the space station than to arrive. So we just had confirmation of that second departure burn being completed, and that is the second in a series of four. However, it's the only. The only one that was left within the vicinity of the space station. The next departure burn will take place about 45 minutes from now after Dragon is well on its way back to Earth and outside of the approach ellipsoid. Dragon is now about 195 meters away from the International Space Station. And should be crossing the keep out sphere momentarily. And we just heard confirmation that Dragon has exited the keep out sphere. Again, the keep out sphere is an invisible 200 meter line centered on the space station. It's one of several safety zones set up to govern spacecraft arriving and departing from the International Space Station. While spacecraft are inside the keepout sphere, they have to be configured where they would not cross into the imaginary boundary for at least four orbits, even if the spacecraft lost all maneuvering. The next major milestone for Dragon's departure will be exiting the approach ellipsoid. This is planned to take place about 13 minutes.